Hey guys, so just making a video here with the little light that I have, so bear with me. Um, I went ahead and made this little curved part of the spoon, and I did this by just making a ball and then basically smoothing it out. I kept putting water. And this, I first rolled a coil and then I laid it out like this and using a needle I split it in half so that's how I was able to get this flat edge and this round edge so yeah um, basically I'm going to be teaching you what you have to do to put together leather hard stuff and the fun stuff you can do with it yeah so gotta go ahead and get my needle Sorry about the weight, so I got my water. I have slip too, but you know, you should do slip. Okay, so this is my gloppy slip right here. The reason why you want to do slip is because um, the thicker the glue, I guess, the stronger the hold. But the fresher the clay, the more you can just use water. But the harder the clay like this, um, you need to use slip at that point. So let's see. <laughs> let's see if I can actually connect this. Um, I would use my sprayer, but for right now, I'm just going to go ahead and um, kind of see if. So I grab this part. I'm going to connect the spoon like this. Okay, now I believe I need fresh clay for this actually. But I'll tell you one thing guys, <laughs> I left this out at night for a couple hours and it's kind of dry. So while you're connecting the two, the two leather hard pieces, make sure you score the sides. See, see how crisp my scratches are? Cause of, that's leather. That's leather dry clay. Go ahead and kind of put it on both sides. This is pretty hard, guys. <laughs> Can't believe I let it out to dry this long, but let's see. So there you go. Okay, okay. I'm gonna reinforce it with more slip. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So. Since I don't think that'll hold, I'm gonna go ahead and use fresh clay. You can put fresh clay on top of already leather hard dry clay. I think it's perfectly fine. I already did it with a cup and yeah, it worked out okay. Can I get more? Okay. And I would say that in this case, don't get clay that's that's normal. What I'm trying to say is you should get like pretty moist clay when you're trying to connect together leather hard because the water in the Quanet hydroxyl is really needed because then you can just kind of like smooth it in there um, and the stiffer the clay is the harder it's going to take for it to bond and remember same reason why we use slip and water to bond is because the water helps the Quanet hydroxyl sheets molt like be flexible and dry so you can control this yeah just kind of showing you how long this takes because you know you need to be patient if you're not patient then it's not going to turn out okay yay see i got my spoon and i'm going to see what i can do with this piece because i don't want to have that sticking out so you know what I'm going to do guys? I'm going to go ahead and make a coil. Yeah, just kind of cover that part. Alright. Cut off the excess. Alright. So it kind of looks like this. Then, um, got to wet your fingers. Remember to keep wetting your fingers because if you don't, it's going to be harder to mold clay. Okay, guys. Yeah, see? 
when I wet my finger, that was like nothing. It's coming together pretty nicely. Sorry about the low light, but I'm pretty sure you can see how that's a huge difference than from when I first showed you. All right. I'm no master, guys. I'm a novice. So I'm figuring this out alongside with you and discovering and figuring out different ways to do this. And maybe this might work out. Maybe this might not. And if it doesn't, then it's a live and learn. But for now, it's working, so that's why I'm sharing. And if it doesn't, <laughs> if it goes in the oven and does its thing, well, that's a part of learning. All right, see how I just kind of keep working over it? Don't forget to keep moistening your project, guys, like I've already told you many times. This is your baby. I'm going to keep giving it that love and care. Because if you just let it do its thing, then it is. And it's going to end up... Uh, gonna end up falling and hurting itself and as a parent you gotta be like no baby let me give you some love let me uh help you not die from dehydration how about that that was the weirdest analogy i could give about clay but hey it worked out look at that spoon mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. so <laughs> it sounded like that Gwen Stefani song. Mm -hmm, mm -mm -mm. All the girls want to be like this, so there ain't no hard back, girl. She's looking for a tool. Dang it. Um, I put that, oh, here it is. This tool. The really cool thing about leather hard clay is um, you put water on it, like it's generally hard, but if you put water on it, it kind of turns into like soft butter. So see how this is kind of janky, this part here, the curve? I'm gonna shave that down. So I'll go ahead and put water on it. And then trim it. Yeah. So I just keep doing that. Don't forget to keep putting water on it. Because if you just keep scraping at it while it gets dry, you're just going to break it. That's a lesson learned I had to learn. Alright, it's getting lower and lower. That's the thing about this, is that I just have to... Whoop. Well, so guys. See? There's another janky side right there, if you see right there yeah so um also i found out that if you dip your tools here's the like water if you dip your tools in the water and you apply it directly on the clay kind of gives it that double effect where you can scrape up a lot more oh there's a the camera right right there okay yeah do 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 do, do. so looking a lot better. See? It's looking a lot more straight. Oh, see? That's a jankiness. Yeah, well, guys, that's pretty much what I can tell you what's so cool about leather. Leather dry clay is the fact that you can uh, do cool things like carve and stuff. So, I'm just dipping it in water and carving down this whole thing. See how it's starting to look a lot more finished, a lot better. Yeah. And that's my spoon. Cool. Alright. Peace.